Hey everyone, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude here with another fossil video. So right now I'm in my backyard and I've got this massive slab of sandstone from Murr Creek, uh, which is an area in uh, Vancouver Island here in British Columbia. And this type of sandstone weathers very easily. And um, because of that, um, it makes it very easy to crumble apart with your fingers. And I was just picking away at some of this on the top that's slumped over and as I was uh, chipping away at the sandstone, I popped out these two very beautiful, very delicate bivalve, or not bivalves, gastropods. They're a snail shell, and you can see how intricate they are. They've got lots of little details on them. And these um, are really fragile, but really beautiful. And here, I'll demonstrate how easy it is to break stuff away. So I'm gonna place these down delicately, so I don't damage them. There's a piece right here. So you can see there's different layers of shell and it's really nice because they're all flat so you can see where the planes of cleavage are. And I'm just breaking it apart like that. And it's all just bits of destroyed shell. Uh, this is pretty flat, so I don't think we're going to get much out of this. So let's get another piece. And see, there's a little bit of one right there. This one's damaged. You can see it's a little flattened too. Put that over there. In this um, formation, you can also find bird bones, marine mammal bones, and... Um, one of those mammals is called Desmostylus. It's similar to modern day hippos, but it may have been mostly aquatic, so adapted for um, sea life. Oh, there's a little one right there, look at that. I'm just gonna carefully excavate around that. There it is. That is, oh, got it. That was a close one. Put it with the rest. You can see there's little bits of rock in there as well. And I saw there's one just chilling out here. It's missing its tip but that one popped out completely. This is part of a damaged one. So we're gonna brush and we're gonna see if there's maybe any shark teeth, fish teeth, or bone. Doesn't seem like it. But you can see this is all just bivalve material. This is the back of one little point. This is pretty nice, I'll just put it right there. Oh, there's some little, oh, there's something. I don't know what this is. I think this is a side piece of a gastropod. This is a more complete section of shell. It's hard to get complete shells out of this because it's so um, crumbly. I'll put that there. What is this? This is part of um, the side view of a shell. It may look like a little jaw or little teeth, but that is not. That's part of a bivalve. I think that's it on the back side. It's just the same, just shells. So yeah, I'll make another video if I decide to chip away at anything here, but I think I'm just gonna keep the rest of it big. If it ever breaks, then I'll just decide to go through and pull out some more of those little gastropods. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, make sure to subscribe for more fossil content like this, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.